Welcome back with a new math tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about decimals and fractions. At the first, what is the meaning of a decimal? What is the meaning of a fraction? Fraction is a part of a whole one. We have a relation between two numbers, the part to the whole. And the decimal, decimal at the top of the fractions, but with denominator equals 10, 100, 1000, and so on. So the fraction is a part of a whole one. And the decimal is a fraction, but with denominator equals 10, 100, 1000, and so on. We can convert between the fraction and decimal with an easy way. So for example number one, we need to write each of the following decimals as a fraction in the simplest form. Because we have a fraction that must be written in the simplest form. How we can write 0.6 as a fraction? So number one, I will just write the number here for the decimal, which is six. Now look at the decimal point. We have only one digit at the right of the decimal. It's mean we have here the denominator is equal to 10. Now for the whole number. Because the whole number here is zero, it means there is no whole number. Now we need to simplify. We know that six is equals two multiplied by three. And the 10 is equals two multiplied by five. So with an easy way, you just can cancel out two and two. So it will be equal three over five. And that's how we can write 0.6 as a fraction. Again, for number two, we have 0.45. We need to write it. The whole number here will be zero. So I just write fraction. We just write the numerator equal 45. And the denominator will be equals 100. Because we have two decimal numbers at the right of the decimal point. So we have here 100. So it would be equal. We know that 45 is equals 5 multiplied by 9. And 100 is equals 5 multiplied by 20. We can cancel out 5 and 5. So the answer now in the simplest form will be equals 9 over 20. 0 0.375. Now for 0 0.375, I'll just write. 375. Because we have three digits at the right of the decimal, it means we have three zeros down. So it will be over 1000. We know that 375 is equals 3 multiplied by 125. And 1000 is equals 8 multiplied by 125. We can cancel out 125 with 125. So the number in the simplest form now will be equal 3 over 8. So again, how we can write the decimal to a fraction? Number one, look at the whole number. Whatever the whole number, just write it as the whole number. Now look at the number at the right of the decimal. Just write it as numerator. So we have here only one digit at the right of the decimal, so it's mean over 10. If we have two digits, it will be over 100. If we have three digits, it will be over 1000. Now in this problem, we need to write each of the following as a decimal. We know how we can convert from a decimal to fraction, but now we know how we can convert from a fraction to decimal. So number one, look at the fraction that you have. If you can simplify, we know that 9 is equals 3 multiplied by 3. And 12 is equals 3 multiplied by 4. So we have 3 and 3, so it would be equals. The number in the simplest form will be equal 3 over 4. Now we have a golden number, or the golden tip. If you find that the denominator equals 2, you need to multiply it by 5 to make the answer equals 10. And also, if you have 5, you multiply it by 2 to make the answer equals 10. Now if you have 4, you can multiply it by 25 and the answer now will be equals 100. If you have 25, you will multiply it by 4 and the answer will be equals 100. If you find 8 or 125, you will multiply them together and make the answer equals 1000. Because we said the decimal is a fraction with denominator equals 10, 100, 1000 and so on. We need to convert all of them to be 10 or 100 or 1000 and so on. So because we have here 4 at denominator, I just multiply up by 25 and down by 25. Now it would be equals. 3 times 25 equals 75. And 4 times 25 equals 100. I will just write the numerator without any change. Now we have 100. It means we have two zeros. It means I will count 1, 2, then put the decimal point. So the answer now would be equal 0 0.75. Again for number 14. Now we have 14 over 25. We said if we find that we have 25, I just multiply it by 4. We multiply them by 4 to make the denominator equals 100. Because we said the decimal is a fraction, but with denominator 10, 100, 1000, and so on. I just need to write the denominator as 10, 100, or 1000. So because we have 25, I'll multiply it by 4, it will be equals 100. Now we have 14 times 4. 14 times 4, 4 times 4 equals 16. 6 and carry up 1. 4 times 1 equals 4, plus 1 equals 5. So it will be equals 56. There is no whole number, so I'll just write 56 here without any change. 
because we have two zeros, I just write the decimal point after two places, put the decimal point and put zero. Now for number 50. The denominator now is 5. I will just multiply here by 2 and 2. So it would be 3 times 2 equals 6. And 5 times 2 equals 10. Which equals? Just write 6. We have 10. It's mean I will just count after one digit. Just counting here one digit from right to left. Put the decimal point after one digit. Then put 0 at the whole number because there is nothing here for the whole number. For question number 60. We have 102 over 250. If you look at the denominator, you will find that it will be 250. 250 it's mean 25 multiplied by 10. Because we have 25 here, I will just multiply up by 4 and down by 4. So it will be equals 4 times 102 equals 408. Now put the 0 here. 25 times 4 equals 100. So we have here 408 over 1000. Just write 408 without any change. Because we have 3 zeros. Just count from the right to the left. 1, 2, 3, and put the decimal point. There is nothing here for the whole number, so the whole number here will be equal to. In question number 17, you will find 27 over 75. 75 is not one of the golden numbers, but we can simplify. Because you know that 27 is equal 9 multiplied by 3. And 75 is equals 25 multiplied by 3. Now by simplifying, we will have 9 over 25. 9 over 25, because the denominator now is 25, I'll just multiply it by 4. Once you multiply by 4 now, it will be 9 times 4 equals 36. And 25 times 4 equals 100. Now I'll just write 36, because we have here two zeros. I'll just count from the right to the left. 1, 2, and put the decimal point. And that's how we can write 27 over 75 in decimal form. In question number 18, we have 3 and 1 over 5. Leave the whole number without any change. Just look at the denominator. The denominator that we have now is 5. I will just multiply up and down by 2. Now it would be equal. We said the whole number would be the same. 1 times 2 equals 2. And 5 times 2 equals 10. Now it would be equal. Just write the numerator. I will start with the numerator. So because we have 1, 0, I will just write from the right to the left. I will just put the decimal point. The whole number here will be 3, so I'll just write 3.2. And that's how we can write from the fraction to the decimal and from the decimal to the fraction.